Hello and welcome back to another Versus episode in From the Depths. This time I'm going to be covering the Diamondback. This was sent in by Exitus the Third, and this is a tank based off the M1 Abrams, if you couldn't tell by the design. Now this uses wheels. Uh, fortunately, wheels don't work at the moment, so he's using lure code, which uses these thrusters at the front, these thrusters at the side, and thrusters at the back to move this. So if I go in here, the lure code for the for the tank is here. Now this is the lure code that was made by 7th Fleet. Okay, so there's actually quite a lot of this on how to actually get this to move across the land using wheels and thrusters. So it doesn't hover, it just sort of slides over everything. Over this side, we've got missile code. Now this is Javelin missile code, and this is made by Los Bokak. I think I said that right, apologies if I didn't. But this is for Javelin missiles that go fire s straight up, along, and then smack straight down on top of the enemy. So let's have actually have a look at this tank shall we so over here if I go down we have a ship wheel which is right here which is next to if I press B we have in here a chair so this allows you to sit in here like an actual tank and be the commander of a tank directly next to that wonderful little cannon it's also got a little chair on the gunner seat here it's got a little gunner chair right here, which I cannot link to because I'm not actually on the turret. Press P again. This is the engine. The engine is producing quite a bit of power for its size. Um, it's also using pretty much all the power because, well, you can tell it's running damn loud. It's got these ammo processors at the back. It's also got shielding, which is front over here this shielding is at power 8 and you can't actually see it because it's kind of invisible well you can but you can more or less see it. it's a little bit it's very it's transparent basically we've also got shields on the top over there and shields on the sides so we've got shields pretty much all over this defending the turret and the base tank. If I go up into the actual turret itself, you can see this has one of the simple weapons at the top, the simple cannon, which fires out this way. This is designed for looks. I it's it's not much else other than that. It is for looks. Um it's also got a camera here, a wireless camera. And if I go down here, we can actually go to the turret. Well, damn, that's a long turret. Quite a lot of it is hidden inside here. It goes all the way back to pretty much here, which is right at the back of this. And you can see it's got about 500 kinetic damage. Reload time, pretty damn fast. And, you know, quite accurate as well and of course full elevation of 80 degrees and we've got all the ammo blocks here now of course this could be built better you know have more stuff on here to make it stronger but as we said at the beginning this is designed after the M1 Abrams so this one is more for the looks than the actual power over here we have the missile the javelin missile it has fins Variable thruster, which is set at 2,300. Three fuel tanks, fins, fragmentation warhead, the lure receiver, and the thumper head there. And of course, we have over here the lure block transceiver that allows you to actually use lure code. Now, there isn't one at this side. Again, design. I've, I'm going to keep on saying that all the way through this. We've got strategic an antenna there for design. And if we go back to the hull, 
You can see back here we have antenna, design, antenna, design, and we have the tracker laser and the radar system. Now, I don't think these actually do anything yet. So, maybe these will have some use in the future. But at the moment, it is for design. And, of course, we have repair bots all along here to keep this thing continuously working through various situations. And we've got a control terminal as well for cameras and such. Which I just deleted, didn't I? Yes. 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 No, I put a metal block in. So, in other words, yes. Yes. I, yes, I deleted it. Um, you, you did not see that. Anyway, this is going to be put up a, against the Hoverdyne, the hover tank that was sent in and we had a versus before. So this, as it's made for design, it is actually using less resources than the Hoverdyne. So uh, one on one, it probably won't do too well, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, Diamondback. Spawn it did on the... which team? On its watch, there we are, that'll do. Now this is 112,000... Yeah, 112,000 RP. Now you see, it's not actually doing anything at the moment, it's just going to sit there. If I go all the way over here, I'm going to be spawning in something else, but yes. If I look in that direction, you'll see that it is just going to sit there and do absolutely sod all. So, what it needs to do, it won't do anything until you spawn in an enemy for it to actually go against. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's load in the Imperial Destroyer Hop, the, yeah, the Hoverdyne. And, yeah, you can see the difference there, 152. Oh, don't want to load that. <laughs> we want to load this in on a different team, the Seal Striders. There we go, load that in, and resume. There we go, straight off. Oh, missiles away, cannons firing, and the Diamondback. Oh, it's fired its missile, and it's up, up goes that missile, and down go the missiles from the Hoverdyne. Oh dear. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, that was fast. Oh, that was very fast. Ooh. Um, um, yeah, uh, AI dead. Um, right, I'm at, I'm at destroy all vehicles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Okay, let's let's go over here. Um, let's get around here-ish, maybe? Yeah, he'll, he'll do. Okay, let's load in. Uh, diamond back. There we go. So I'm gonna try and balance these with RP cost. So resume. Load in another one. And then another one next door. There we go. Resume. Whoa, jumping. Okay, oh, that one's sliding down the hill. Loading another one. There. Resume. Oh, I really shouldn't load them into the ground. That's not a good idea. Um, they're all moving forward. Okay, resume. There we go. That one didn't go into the ground. That's good. And let it load another one. There we go. So we've got here, we've got six diamond backs. Six diamond backs. And this will go against, if I go over here, uh, whereabouts should I put them? Uh, put them a little bit closer, possibly here. Okay, load in. Hover down on the Onyx watch because I accidentally put them on the steel flares. And I'm actually going to do it because if I don't do this. I'm going to press the sideways to try and give it a little bit of distance so I can load them all in in a line so they don't actually start fighting until all are loaded. Loading another one, there we go. So we got four Hoverdynes versus six Diamondbacks and whoa that's a lot of missiles being fired from the Hoverdynes. And the Diamondbacks are really going for it. Oh, wow. Oh, there's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, one Hoverdyne down. A Diamondback is also down. All these missiles are flying. Oh, there's two Hoverdynes down. 
Oh wow, that's that's a lot. That was very quick. Actually, that hover dine is still going over there on the left. Somehow, don't know how. Oh, there's another diamond back down over there. Seems to he's too damaged. Oh, there's another diamond back down. Oh jeez. Oh, there's a lot going on. Oh, I th that was still somehow going. I have no idea how. There is still. Hold up. Oh. Okay. There is four. Di three diamondbacks left. You <laughs> have three diamondbacks left against all these these hoverdines. That hoverdine is disappearing into the distance. Oh. There's two of them chasing that one. That one's that diamond. Oh. Okay, there's only two diamondbacks left. That diamondback has been destroyed. So this, these, the, sorry, that hover died has been destroyed, sorry. These two diamondbacks are going to turn round. Yep, and missiles, oh wow. I'm going to go against this hover died that has run to the hills. It is going to try and hide. I really can't use my voice like this. <coughs> <laughs> you can hear the machine guns firing. There's no way they can hit from there. At all. Oh, what was that? Oh, wow. Where, did that just smack itself? Oh, dear. There we go. Hover died down. And there's two diamondbacks left. With One with the gun turret completely destroyed. Oh, no. It's, it's actually just gone. It was through itself. Oh, well. There we go. Diamondback prevailed. Anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And please share the video around. Hold up. Okay. Um, muzzle effects are still there. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks once again for watching. And I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Um,